Well, that's not good. Uh, update to my uh, vlog, uh, number two, on a busy day here in Brandon. Um, yeah, this guard here was supposed to protect this thing here from getting melted by this thing here. And it did not work. I'm not sure if it happened while I was riding it or uh, the bike just got back from its 1,000 kilometer service. Was it sitting in the shop idling while the tech checked for leaks? I'm not sure. But either way, that's been melted. So a new one is about uh, 27 bucks Canadian. So when I get around to it, I'll uh, order one. But the whole <coughs> uh, end plan is to get rid of this entire piece anyway. And... Um, run uh, run it like this but with uh, Leo Vinci dual exhaust which angle away from this so anyway that's a bit disappointing there was some talk about uh, you know the JTAC or mustard bikes um, tail tidy and that this could happen but um, I think with an aftermarket exhaust and the way it would be oriented it wouldn't so just buyer beware um, you might want to extend this piece out a bit I'm wondering if this will actually uh, work or if it could cause any more issues. But anyway, we'll try it again. And if this thing melts to a pile of uh, black soot, then lesson learned. Um, as I said in my last vlog, um, I uh, actually swapped out the Power Cup tire for a, uh, I think this was a Power RS tire that I had on the track last year. So you can see no chicken strips, which will make me look like a hero on the street. But the main reason why is that, uh, like most track day tires, there's lots of meat in the center here still. And if I'm going to put another thousand or so kilometers on it before the first track day, I want to wear away this uh, old tire versus uh, a new set of power cups. So, uh, so yeah, swap that out. Um, so Nick's in the rim already. That's bound to happen when you're changing tires and you don't have a professional tire changer. So. I don't know, one of these days I'd love to uh, to have enough money to buy a uh, no more tire changer or something like this. And I'm sure there's a million people on the internet that say that they can change tires with a set of spoons um, without m marking the rim. But I've um, been doing it for years and haven't quite mastered it yet. So anyway, uh, so yeah, bike is back from its thousand kilometer uh, tune up. They were kind of surprised that I got that many kilometers on it in two weeks. but. Uh, yeah, quick oil change, checked over everything, uh, reset the service light, um, and I'm $198 lighter. So the good news is, is that although there's a nice Motorex sticker on this thing, from here on in, I'm going to be running uh, Liquimoly over there. So I'll be able to change the oil, uh, you know, maybe more frequent than recommended. Uh, what else? So yeah, uh, some modifications or parts have come in. So the uh, power parts rear set I got from a guy on the 13X forums. Uh, quick shipping showed up uh, complete except he forgot a spacer. And I get it, those things can get lost in the garage. Lord knows mine have, um, I've got spacers scattered all over the place. Luckily I had some so I was able to make something work. Um, so I've just uh, set those up and they seem a bit higher. Um, but again, test fitting them in the garage, it's not too uh, painful. So that's uh, good to go. Um, and uh, yeah, some, some parts that I'll put on later. And I might actually do a vlog on uh, how to do it. Although again, it's, it's not rocket science. I've seen a bunch of vlogs on exhaust and the tail tidy. Didn't see anything about the rear sets, but they're pretty straightforward. But um, yeah, some uh, Samco silicone hoses. I had some orange ones on my Duke 690 a number of years ago, so that adds a bit of orange coolness. And some Woodcraft um, frame sliders. So again, you know, opinion is mixed as to whether to use sli frame sliders or not, whether to use case sliders. Either way, um, the frame sliders, the way these ones are oriented, uh, they seem like a pretty good design and that they're um, uh, up and they, they stick out proud of the uh, radiator and the overflow tank on each side of the bike. So to me that makes a lot of sense to use, uh, to use those. So those will go on shortly. And uh, yeah, that's about it for this version. I'll update more when more parts come in.